Hey guys, Lee here with Race Car Rides. Hey, I've got some new shirts, so let me know if you want one. Um, I wanted to share with you today what it's like to drive the Exocet out on the street. I took it out on the street today, I went on the highway. It's kind of a fun little ride, you know, it's boring. You can't do, here's the problem. You can't do anything crazy because everybody's watching you. And if you got, like I have, like one of the only Exocets in the county, they know where you live. So you do something stupid out there, guess what? They're going to be at your house waiting for you. Um, you could run the Exocet as a daily driver. However, man, with this heat, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's really hot, really sticky. Um, it's a lot of fun though, man. You drive it to a gas station and you get mobbed. People want to know what it is. What, what, I mean, what is it an aerial atom? How fast will it go? Uh, some of them want to go for a ride. But uh, anyway, here we go. Tell me what you think. So getting into the Exocet is probably one of the most challenging things uh, there is with a car. Um, no doors, of course, but uh, it's a process. One of the things I have to do is I turn on my stereo before um, I get everything set up. Um, uh, I put it too far back, and I can't reach it with the seatbelts on, so my fault. Well, anyways, uh, once you get the stereo set up, I buckle in. And uh, that's always, it's a five-point harness, so that's always uh, a challenge. Uh, with everything, it's the heat, though, man. This thing is, because the sun's beating directly on you, it, it's a pain. If, if I would have got the race model, it would have had the uh, bars up top, and I probably could have put a cover over the top. But getting in and out of it was even harder. So, here we go. Just thinking about the different things about the car i want to tell you a few things i like really really like about the car the first thing is is this shifter i got the irs or irp i think it is uh shifter they're about 500 dollars. made all the difference in the world as you can see the the shift is uh watch how tight this is it's uh you know good in second gear or first gear hold on well maybe i won't <laughs> um the shifts are about three inches apart and they're real tight. Uh, you never miss a shift. Uh, the visibility is incredible. Uh, even better than a motorcycle. See, with a motorcycle, they're so common that people people don't see you. With this thing, everybody sees you. Uh, matter of fact, it's uh, somewhat invasive. It's <laughs> uh, cars. Uh, if you could look, well, if I slowed it down, there's people that'll stop next to you, take pictures. Uh, so it's a, it's a magnet. Uh, if you're not prepared to be stared at, to be talked to, to be hounded about your car uh, at every stop, um, uh, do yourself a favor and don't get an Exocet. Go get something else. But uh, just driving it in the street, man, it's uh, it's a fun little toy. And uh, a daily driver, not so much. But uh, just cruise around in, especially in the evening when it's cool, or um, you know, just to make a quick run, it's it's great. But to drive this thing for two hours or three hours or from here to wherever, nah, I think I'd rather drive the truck. Another thing I like about the car is, well, I build it. Um, there's a lot of cars out there that I would love to have: the new Corvette, uh, the new. Um, Porsche, I'd love to have that. Uh, a couple other ones. Uh, let's see, the new Supra. Uh, however, this car, believe it or not, at the track competes well with every one of those other cars. Um, matter of fact, a lot of them, it's, it beats them. Um, it's just, there's no AC. <laughs> In the middle of southern Georgia, um, it's, it gets hot. It gets real hot, 105, uh, with a humidity of about a million. Uh, yeah, it gets pretty hot. So it's, and everything in the car gets hot as well. So, just going down the street here, we're getting ready to pass some of the uh, local restaurants. Um, I think uh, Sunny's to the left of me, and uh, the let's see taco bell or something like that yeah taco bell to the right <laughs> taco schmell well um getting ready to get on the highway here and uh the cars you know hey there was a corvette i just passed i know that guy 
Uh, the car's tricky. People are trying to stare at you, and then if, if you notice, like this guy right here, there's no blinker. He's just, which way is it going to go, huh? Well, it takes to the right. Um, then I'm going to get over and let's see. Well, coming up to the highway, I, I realized that uh, there's no, uh, I'm not going to be able to get on it. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a normal driving. Um, it's no point to really get after it right now, but, um, I just wanted to show you guys what it was like just to normally drive this thing. You can go fast. I mean, the car's close to 300 horsepower. Uh, at the crank um, getting ready to we're actually we're building a new engine for it uh, I've got the head already built it's ported polished shaved uh, one millimeter stock uh, valves uh, we're uh, forging the lower end uh, we're going with instead of 83 millimeter we're going with 84 uh, we're going to put a um, different turbo on there I'm going with uh, a Borg Warner uh, EFR I'm um, going to do a twin scroll, so we're going to be trying to reach 350 horsepower. We're going to send the um, transmission out to Planet Fitness, excuse me, not Planet Fitness, Planet Miata, or yeah, I think that's it, and they uh, redo your transmission, they cryogenically um, set it up, and uh, from what I hear, it, it can take 400 plus horsepower. Uh, the rear differential in the car, we're going to go with a three i think a 3.9 uh lsd so uh second gear should be about 68 to 72 depending on depending on what size tires i'm running um currently i'm running uh on as it as it sits right now as you're looking at it i'm running a 245 uh 40 r15s uh falcon uh, rt660s I will be running, well, I am running at the track. I'm running 295 uh, Hoosier A7s. Um, and, man, I'm going to tell you the difference. If you decide to get some Hoosier A7s, wow, what a difference, especially at the track. It's just, it's night and day. But that's it, guys. That's about all I got for the highway run. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, briefly what it looks like to get on the highway. Uh, I took the sound off because I was running my stereo, and you know how YouTube is about their copyright infringement crap. Well, all right, until next time, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, Race Car Rides, like the video, share the video. And uh, if you're thinking about getting an exoset or building an exoset, hit me up, man. I, I, I'm, I'll, I'll talk to you about just about anything with the car. And uh, it was a joy to build. It was fun. It was it was almost as fun building it as it is to drive it. I'll go ahead and leave you with that. So have a good day and uh, see you next time.